everyone, what's up? It's Blim, welcome back to my channel. Hi, how are you doing? Right, this video is gonna be much more of a happier kind of topic. And also, I'm sorry to say it, having a little bit of a rant as well about something that Nikki Tutorials posted. There was something that Nikki Tutorials posted about what is going on with LGBT art, literature, everything like that, that is going on in Hungary at the moment. This is something that I really wanna talk about. I have actually visited Hungary myself and I've got a little bit of a story to tell you guys about that but before we get into it let's get into what is actually going on in Hungary right now. Okay so let's get into this. The government in Hungary have passed an anti-LGBTI law marking a dark day in the country and then it goes on to say that this is surrounding gender reassignment surgery so this is involving transgender people, of course. So let's get into what's really happened here. Hungarian government have passed a law banning education and advertising and the promotion around gender change issues. So reading further down, it says this is a dark day for LGBTI rights and for Hungary. Of course it is. Then it goes on to say, echoing the infamous Russian propaganda law, this new legislation will further stigmatise LGBTI plus people and their allies. It will expose people already facing a hostile environment to even greater discrimination. Nikki Tutorials posted this on her IG stories about what this law actually means for transgender people and also the whole queer community and the Hungarian people, allies, everybody. So this law means that books, movies, anything that has gay or transgender people in it will be banned in Hungary. The country says it wants to protect Hungarian youth from finding more information about being gay or wanting gender reassignment surgery. So we're in Pride Month. I'm sitting here as a pansexual non-binary person. I cannot believe how disgusting this is. Why are they trying to take the Hungarian people back 50 years or more? I really don't understand. Why is this acceptable? It isn't acceptable. It's just awful. I can't explain quite how I feel about it. It's just something that I didn't expect to hear. You know, thinking books with transgender people are gonna be taken away from the Hungarian public. Oh, that's against the law, that's illegal now. Can you imagine? Can you imagine living in a world where you don't have access to those things, those resources? I hate it here. I really do. But the thing that I wanted to mention about Hungary as well it ties into this topic, so it's not something that's irrelevant to this topic, it ties in. So bear with me. When I was younger, I had a Hungarian girlfriend. We would talk for hours and hours on MSN, we would speak to each other every day. And of course, I flew to Hungary to see her. You know, we had time together there and everything and it was lovely. But one thing that she was very conscious of while I was there visiting was that we couldn't do anything like kiss or hold hands even in the street because we were two same-sex people and she told me at the time that you know we could be attacked just for holding hands or kissing in the street as two women I'm gonna pop some pictures in here because you know we were doing all the touristy things. She was taking me around everywhere, showing me all the touristy sites and everything. Lovely. Hungary is a beautiful, beautiful place. And I definitely recommend that if you get the chance, you go. But maybe not if you're trans now or queer. But I had a lovely time there, aside from the fact that I couldn't hold hands or kiss with my girlfriend. Yeah. And this wasn't all that long ago either. This was 2009. Yeah, 2009. And now it sounds like things are getting even worse for queer people and trans people in Hungary. And I can't believe 
that we're living in this world where this is happening. We're supposed to be going forwards, not backwards. What's going on, you know? Also, on the same topic, Nikita Dragon. We're going to get into this one because this is another awful transphobic attack. Nikita Dragon was basically submitted to a transphobic attack by somebody called Taylor Caniff. Now, I had no idea who this Taylor Caniff guy was. I'd never heard of him before until this. So Nikita Dragon uploaded a really emotional IG story where she was crying, she was clearly very upset, very distraught. And I really don't blame her because this was fucking horrible. This was awful to watch. But I'm gonna pop the IG story in here just for context. Why is this still happening? And this is in America. Transphobia is still alive and well. In Pride Month, no less. It's like every day it seems to get harder and harder for transgender people to just live their lives. I don't know why this is still happening. We shouldn't still be here. And I can sit here and I can talk about it in videos and I can rant about it. But at the end of the day, is it going to make any difference? I hope it does. I hope that some kind of closed minded, ignorant people might look at these videos and think, OK, yeah, well, you know, trans people are just people, too, or whatever. I hope that by me making these videos, at least maybe somebody either feels less alone or somebody who's very anti-trans can maybe open their eyes a little bit and at least listen and open their mind, open their heart. My boy's hooking up with a guy right tonight. He said, fuck it. I'm hooking up with a man. I don't give a shit. I'm down bad right now. I'm down tremendous. And I tell a security guard, I'm like, yo, bro, like, it's none of my business, but like I just I just don't I feel like you guys are just like a crazy fact that you guys wouldn't know. Like, did you guys know that that was that's a dude? Um, and they they absolutely looked like they I looked like I just threw a, a stun grenade in the, in the back of the security lounge there. They're like, bro, what? I'm like, yeah, that was a, a dude, and they could not believe it. And they're like, bro, our boy John needs to get a phone call right now. This is what it's like to be trans. My livelihood is constantly threatened by just living my life as a trans person. And I'm so embarrassed to even be showing this video, but it's reality. It's what's really fucking happening in the world. I try to be strong for you guys and hold my head up high and act like I'm not terrified that something like this will happen to me. This is how trans people die. This is how trans people die. It just takes that one ignorant transphobic comment to threaten my entire livelihood. And more so than that, I fear for the people that are with me. The fact that it was just a guy friend helping me get into a car and all of a sudden this man wanted to video it, make fun of the guy who was helping me, tell the security guards about it. Like his life is now threatened as well. This time it was me. Next time it could be somebody else. Somebody not as lucky. We must stop trans hate because it leads to trans violence and people lose their lives. Or even worse, they take their own lives because experiencing things like this just breaks my heart and my entire world. And it's disgusting. And I won't stand for it. I love you guys. Thank you so much. Uh, it for sure doesn't make fucking sense to me. I'm going to be straight up honest. It makes no sense to me. Um, the internet is one of the softest places in the world right now. More softer than a, a Tempur-Pedic mattress at this point to me. But uh, if you guys don't know, there's this thing on Instagram called Close Friends, right? And basically you can select certain people that you're close with to put on this list and you can upload stories where only they can view it and the general public can't view it. Um, on this day, I was in Miami enjoying myself with all of my friends, um, having a good time. Uh, I was tore up. I was at 11 this night. I was throwing ones. I was going crazy up in the strip club, having a good old jolly time. And as I was coming out, uh, I filmed a video of Nikita Dragon, which you guys have all seen. I think it's her most viral video she's uploaded and she started this whole train of hate uh, go ruin Taylor Kniff life, basically, uh, train. My one issue with the, the close friend stuff is, is that was for a select group of people that I wanted to see the video. And I didn't think anything was wrong with that video. Um, and I guess the one thing that is wrong with that video is that I called her a man. Um, which is, you know, 
it's difficult. You know, it's, it's really no way for me to win in this situation. It's really just a lose-lose situation. But, I, you know, I felt like, you know, people needed more facts. So, like, as I said, it was uploaded to my close friends. It wasn't for anyone else to see, just my friends. But I guess someone who was close, and I know who this person is, and they know who they are, um, uploaded it and sent it to Nikita and uh, ran with it from there. Uh, I offered to apologize. Uh, the ladies that were upset off my close friends, I even apologized to them. I said, yo, my bad. I shouldn't have uploaded it. This, that, and the other. Uh, I was just looking out for the bros. Like, that's what I was doing. And just making a little joke for my close friends for 60 people. That was that was the, the context of it. Uh, what it's turned into now, a whole campaign um, and everything. And, and her saying that I put her, her life in danger. You guys don't even want to know what I'm receiving right now from death threats to telling my to go kill myself. Uh, I'm going to show you guys just a couple of examples right here. And my next thing comes is the homophobe, that I'm a homophobe and that I'm transphobic. Well, I got news for you. Let's just grab a clip real fast off the internet when you type in Taylor Kniff real fast. It's a boxing. Okay, so this Taylor guy, he really tried it. He really, really tried it. After Nikita Dragon uploaded her IG story, he came out saying, oh, I'm bisexual, as if, oh, I'm bisexual clears him of being transphobic. But, 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 apparently, he's already been exposed for being transphobic because Tana Mojo made a video exposing him three years ago. Taylor, you're a transphobic cunt. You are done. Anyway, guys, I'm going to stop this little video right here. I'm going to say take care, stay safe, stay well. Do let me know all your thoughts and opinions in the comments down below. Love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next one. Bye. Take care.